Good evening. It is August 18th, Sunday, 2024, year of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Chris Garcia, running for a school board in Norwalk La Mirada Unified School District. Um, it's been quite an adventure to this point. Um, there's three seats out of the seven that are up, that are up for a re-election. Uh, two of them are going to be moving on, so those basically are going to be vacant, and I am going up against the president of the board, <sighs> the guy who's done some shady stuff, as you've seen in my other videos. Uh, I've actually spoke to him, so kind of a little bit of an update, but basically uh, he doubled down saying that uh, he didn't do it, and um, which is shocking, and I I called him out on it again, but it was just him and I, and my son was there watching us have this conversation uh, during one of the events that we have in Norwalk, and uh, I just I just let him know like it's not cool, it's not cool that he's lying. I told him I want my signs back because one of them actually was taken, and uh, and I told him I already checked in with the uh, <coughs> public safety; they don't have it, they don't have the sign, and. I want to get my sign back. And then I, I just went on to let him know, like, his best thing to do, an honorable thing to do, is for him to just to drop out of the race and, uh, and go forward. You know, let me do what God wants me to do here, and, and I'll give me four years, and then that's it. You could have it back. Everything will be fixed, and go back to doing what you do. So, needless to say, he's still running. So. Uh, Wait Middle School, where is it at? Over here. This will be will be one of my schools uh, that'll be in my district once it happens. Southeast Academy, that is not going to be one of my schools, but I will be fighting for that school because that school is amazing. Um, if you're outside of the Norwalk area, it doesn't matter. You should think about getting your kids in this school. If uh, you have kids high school age who are interested in, in ROTC, interested in join the military or becoming a police officer after uh, high school. That's something they're really interested in. That's the place you want to send them to. Wait Middle School. Uh, if you're out of the district, you might consider Wait Middle School too because uh, they have a leadership program that preps them for Southeast. So, yeah, Wait will get them prepped for Southeast. And it's a, it's just, it's a real cool program to be involved in. My youngest son... Uh, went to Wade, got promoted a couple times, and he's the one I wanted to get skipped up so he could start Southeast a little sooner so he could join the Corps with his brothers. But, yeah, the board didn't they didn't agree. And, well, now I'm here running for board. Um, I just want to go over. So there's two other seats that are open. Um, you have a couple of people running. And uh, I, I contacted one of them for the uh, number seven, trustee area seven. So this is like the La Mirada area. Um, I'm not in that area, but but the election affects me because if whoever wins there, I will be on the board with them. And so I called this guy, uh, David Constantine, and, you know, I had a discussion with him. Basically, what I got from him, I'm not going to go over what we spoke about because I told him I wouldn't. And I like to honor my word. So I I'll tell you this, though. Um, let me kind of get it on the screen for you. So here it is here. Mr. Constantine here, he ran for other some kind of city council thing, and, and he didn't get in, and now he's trying to get in here. Uh, so what that tells me is he just wants to be involved in politics somehow. Um, I don't think he has the right reasons for wanting to do this. I think he'll be just as uh, the same as the, the person that's leaving, which I believe is Chris Staples. I believe that's him. Um, five of these board members have given their endorsement to this guy. Okay, five of them. And it's, it's just shocking to me, the politics, right? All five of them will always vote wrong <laughs> so, for the most part, right? Once in a while, we can get them to vote the right way. And that's only if you apply pressure. They can't do that stuff on their own. They can't figure out what's, what's right according to the parents. Like they have to have parents squeezing them by the neck in order to get them to actually vote for the right things, which is really sad. Uh, you... When you vote people in, you want those people you voted in to look out for your best interest as a parent, as if they're parents themselves. Uh, in my case, the blessing is, is that 
I have four kids in the district and, uh, and it's important to me uh, on a level of parenting. Okay. So I don't go in there as a school board member. I go in there as a parent. I go in there, you know, a veteran, uh, someone who loves this country, who sees this country being, um, I uh, can't use the word on YouTube, <laughs> but basically it's, it's being uh, torn apart from within. And, and I hate what I see. Uh, this gender stuff, this woke stuff, all this stuff, non absolute nonsense. What happened to basic biology? Uh, one of the things a lot of people are concerned with are test scores and this is that. Look, that, is that something to be concerned with? Yes, at some point. But when you're teaching them garbage, you know, for my kids, if they get a low score because they uh, they're, they did something, uh, they got a low score in one of these classes that's trying to teach them about multiple genders and stuff like that, I don't care. I don't care. If you got a low grade, good. You weren't paying attention. I don't want you to pay attention to that nonsense. I want you to focus on reading, writing, and arithmetic. That's the stuff. U.S. history, you know. Hopefully, they get it right in U.S. history. And my boys come home and they talk to me about stuff. And I tell them, yeah, some of this is right. Some of this is wrong. I, I give them materials to look into themselves. And uh, this day and age, they, can, they have information just coming at them everywhere. And, uh, you know, you just got to pray for discernment. They can sift through it. I mean, that's what I do. I sift through things and I share it with my children. Um, and you guys got to do the same as parents. We got to be a little more interactive with our children, a lot more interactive with our children than, than times past. Before we go ride bikes and, you know, <laughs> we, we'd be out there playing sports out in the street or playing in the backyard. You know, these are the type of things that we used to do as kids, you know, drinking out of the, uh, the water hose in the front yard. Today, that's, that stuff's not happening. That's not what we see from our children. They're online all the time. They're playing games. And so, you know, they just got information slamming them from all over the place. What we don't need is for them to be going to school, right? If we take them to church, they're learning godly principles, right? Their foundational belief system is one of a Christian uh, upbringing. In most cases, in, in our areas, you're either Catholic or Christian, right? Even if you're Muslim, even Muslims have a different foundational upbringing than secularism okay uh, one thing that is being taught in school is secularism uh, evolution right you have to believe that stuff because no one's ever actually seen it happen so these are things you have to believe so there is a belief system being taught and then along with evolution you know and darwinism uh, you you get a lot of atheists uh, atheism and you get uh Basically, uh, if you know the book about Charles Darwin, it, it emphasizes on the selection of races. So it's a very racist book. If you look into it uh, and you just look up Charles Darwin, look up his, his most popular book and read the whole title. It tells you right there in the title what it's all about. The selection of basically like superior races. All right. Off the top of my head, I don't know. But you look it up, you'll see it. Uh, anyways, back to this. So uh, this guy, Constantine. Um, he's going to fall in line with whatever the state passes down, whatever the county passes down. He's going to go, oh, yeah, yeah, whatever they say, he'll do. He's a politician through and through. And when you have five other politicians endorsing you who always vote against parental rights, why would you want to put someone like that in office, right, in any kind of office? And, you know, the other thing is I don't understand why it's, it means so much to these people. Like, why are they running? Like, what, what's their reasoning behind running? Uh, do they have a passion about what they're doing? Like, oh, the kids. And you could hear it in the voice, right? You could hear it in my voice. You know that I care, right? There's a genuineism, genuineism, if that's a word. I'm genuine. And when I'm talking to you, you hear it come out. Uh, you know I care. I have kids. You know, I have kids in the district. So, yeah, I'm invested. I, I care about this. These people, why are they doing it? For what reason? Right. What's what's Mr. Constantine's real reason for running? Is he see a problem with the school board or is he just trying to fill a spot for someone he likes? I think that's what he's doing. I think that's why they've they've endorsed him. Five of them have endorsed him. And uh, it, it's you know, it's it's really kind of a sad thing. There they are right there. Right. There they are. That's the crew. Those are all all of them are. Here he is, Mr. President himself, taking a picture of my front door. Right. Then lying about it. Here is uh, Staples right here, which I th he may be buddies with. And I think this is the guy he may be trying to re uh, replace. Uh, here's, you know, the doctor himself, uh, Manchurian candidate of the year right here. You, know, you ever watch that movie with Denzel Washington, the Manchurian candidate? That's Dr. Concio. He's, he's a Manchurian candidate. Uh, I'll let him know that squeaky clean record. He's got all the good stuff going. Got a great little smile. Right. He's a cool guy to talk to. I'll say that much. But. Hey, he votes the wrong way a lot, all right? 
and I could get into some stuff on this maybe one day. I have to chat with him first, see what he wants to, where he wants to go with that conversation. Uh, these two as well, all of them are going to go in line with what the state and the county say. Okay, and mind you, as far as I know, they're all believers, either Catholic or Christian. It's very interesting. I talk about bringing the Bible back and stuff like that to them. That's oh no, we can't do that because they would have to go against the state. And God forbid they have to, you know, have some backbone and put in a fight for the parents, uh, what the parents want. I've been going door to door, and I'm telling you, parents want biblical studies. They want that Bible in school. A lot of them are homeschooling. A lot of them are taking their kids outside of our district, going to Cerritos, going to Downey. For what purpose? Because the schools, they don't teach as much of the junk, and they're better schools. Okay? So that's got to change. That's got to change, and that takes someone putting up fights. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to – I don't know for certain that there's been a um, – I don't even know if I should mention this. But but I've been hearing things as far as corruption and, and whatnot. Um, I hope it's not as bad as what I've been hearing. I really hope it's not as bad. We'll see. So the other person running in that district in Area 7 in, in the La Mirada part uh, is Becky Langenwalter, okay? Uh, Becky is, she was a uh, professor at Biola University, okay? So I like her, um, you know, have those conservative values that we all want as parents. She's all about parents' rights. Um, there's nothing that I've heard from her that would make me think she's not going to do, uh, do what she says and, and do the right thing. So if if I'm living in La Mirada and I'm voting out of La Mirada, I'm voting for Becky Langenwalter. And, and this guy, I don't, I don't want to see him anywhere, to be honest with you. I think he's a straight politician. Um, I would beware of him, this name, anywhere. Any kind of uh, office, I would not vote this guy in. You know, So just letting you guys know, that's my feelings on this. Um, we need people we can work with. I know with uh, Becky, I would be able to work with her. I know that she has uh, conservative values. Um, I, I am a little different. You know, there's things I, I want to push, and I want to push hard, and I want to push fast. And I, I'm sure a lot of people, that kind of makes them hesitate a little bit. But if, uh, if you want, for you who are voting for me in the Norwalk area, in the One Ways area, um, you want – Bible-based or, or some kind of religious foundational teaching, which is what our country was founded on, uh, then you definitely want me in there. You want Becky in there to, to help with that type of stuff. Uh, I just I want to see kids come out without thinking, uh, without being confused about their sexuality, their gender, right? What sex they are, what restrooms to use. I don't want them trying to push that onto anyone else. I don't want the state trying to Keep it a secret from us, which is AB 1955, which is what they just passed, which we need to sue them against that. So there, there's a huge fight going on. They're trying to steal the minds of our children. OK, they are legitimately trying to do that. That bill will open the door to all kinds of other craziness that will come. Hear me here. Right. There's been other bills that have come through. And uh, and it just brings about all kinds of carnage. We do not need this bill anywhere near our our children, anywhere near our schools. In fact, what we really need is someone to stand up for the parents' rights. And we need to get rid of we need to get rid of the state telling us what to do. In the local level, we could decide ourselves. We don't need the state's interference. We, the problem is they give money, and that's where it becomes an issue, right? Conflict of interest. Oh, well, we're not going to fund you if you're not going to do this. Well, you know what? You should fund us because you got to fund all the counties and the schools within the counties. So don't come out with this. Oh, well, you have to follow our way of doing things. That's not how it works. Okay. The schools are there reading, writing, and arithmetic. That's what they're there for. That's all they should be there for. And, uh, and that's a whole other topic I get into another time where I could really get into the details of school and what school is really all, this, all about, supposed to be about. But um, as far as you want what's best as a parent, where you have the rights and you have control over your children, do not vote for this dude, okay? This Constantine dude, don't vote for him. Go for Becky. Uh, one of the other things is 
I put my phone number out on my flyers. Um, I let everybody know. <clears throat> if you want to get in touch with me, you are more than welcome to give me a call or a text. Even if you don't like what I'm doing, you know, you could go ahead and let me know. I'm, I'm not going to silence you. I don't like that stuff. It's not cool. I don't like being silenced. Um, I was on a, a, a group on Facebook. It's a La Mirada Interactive. For those of you who are on it, La Mirada Interactive, they kicked me out of that group because there was a couple of people who were fighting me on the AB1955. And because they felt some kind of way, they probably complained about me on there and they kicked me out. And this is what people do when they're on the wrong side of things. Instead of standing for what, what your uh, belief system is, you know, they just, they silence you. Uh, one of the things they did say, uh, the admin that, or, or some of the people, that this isn't a political group, but this is where the endorsement was at. They're endorsing this clown this guy, sorry, I don't know him personally, I shouldn't be saying clown, but I get passionate and things slip. So this guy, uh, they're endorsing, those five are endorsing him. And on that, on that group, on Facebook, yeah, I can't talk about politics. Well, why are you letting them endorse them then? You know, take that off completely. So, you know, that's the frustrating part. Um, so my number, 562-564-8871. Call or text me. It's fine. If you're going to be calling me all in the middle of the night, talking nonsense, whatever, uh, I'm just not going to answer. You could text me, though. All right. There it is. That's my card. That's the one I give out when I go talking to people. And uh, that's that's really all I want to talk about. I got another video I'm going to be doing in a little bit and going over uh, some other interesting things. And, um, you know, I'll see you guys in the next one. Do me a favor. Like. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this to people. Help me get uh, all this information out. Again, and uh, if you live in the in the Norwalk in the One Ways area, uh, extend it out a little. Uh, uh, Bloomfield, all the way down. Uh, we got uh, Norwalk, actually past Norwalk, all the way down. So 166 down, kind of cuts. It has a weird layout, but. If you're in the basic Norwalk area, the One Ways area extended, you're going to be in, in my district, and I would very much be honored if you voted for me. And even afterwards, you keep that phone number, because even afterwards, when I get elected, if there is a problem or something you're concerned with, you can call me, you can text me, and I'll, I will address it as soon as possible. I'll, I'll get in contact with you and talk to you if I don't answer the phone. And... Um, because it's very irritating for myself not being able to talk to anybody when I had all the concerns I had and, and I was trying to get answers and it was darn near impossible. And to know that there may be someone out there that can advocate for you when things go bad or there's a, there's a situation of any kind or just anything good even. You know, it'd be good to have someone you know that you could just reach out to you and, uh, and you get your message across. Okay, and that'll be me for all of you. Thank you. God bless.